Yeah, it was um, you know not uh, not a recipe for uh, long term success the way we uh, we played that game, but. Uh, um, you know, sometimes you, you need to find a way to win those uh, games. Their defense and goaltending gave us an opportunity to, to pull that out at the end. And uh, last 20 minutes, our offense was uh, was outstanding. It, it wasn't for the first 40. I just talked about the battle that the Georgia Swarm gave tonight. Two good teams going at it, and you get a fantastic crossbow. Yeah, it was entertaining. Uh, it didn't feel that way for us um, uh, for, for most of it, but uh, mentioned it throughout the week. Uh, anytime we play Georgia, Usually, uh, usually, usually get a good, uh, good lacrosse game. They, they play an up-tempo game, uh, much like us. Um, personally, uh, you know that's the kind of lacrosse that uh, I like to uh, watch or be involved in, and um, it's always a good matchup and a lot of skill on the floor. Yeah, it seemed like they uh, they were very quick as well. You broke up a lot of your passes, a lot of your shots. Uh, they just really, uh, they were about as uh, athletic as your defense is. They are very athletic on the back end. Uh, they have some size too. You know we've, you know we weren't uh, playing, um, doing things uh, uh, with a purpose early on there. We weren't moving our feet, um, even little basic fundamentals. We we weren't uh, um, good with. So uh, lesson learned. Uh, but again, um, not to take away from the win, we found a way to do that. It's always uh, real easy to uh, to do anything, and and uh, we're playing lacrosse here. So when things are going your way, it's real easy to perform. The hard part, and maybe the true test of a team or a person, an individual is is to figure it out when things aren't going your way. And we certainly did that tonight. Not specific to tonight, but in general, this this city seems to have figured out this whole lacrosse thing. You're, you're proud and then the people who are here, it seems to be working. For sure. Um, you know, it, it's the move's been great for us. Uh, personally, um, love being on that bench in front of this crowd. Um, Seems like we kind of fit each other, uh, and uh, you know, there's nothing more than uh, that we want to do is, uh, you know, have success uh, um, for the city of Hamilton and for the fans that come out and watch us. And you know, we like to think we put on a good show, so so come on out and see what we're doing. Yeah, first half definitely not our best. Second half, probably not our best either, but a step in the right direction. Definitely, we're playing a good team. We were able to pull it out, but I think that there's still lots to be had. Uh, we had moments where. We're doing everything that we wanted to, absolutely, um, but there's still strides to be made, and, and we know that collectively. Uh, just talk about the stick to itness with this one. Like, you guys were down, and then you guys went up, and then they came back. Just talk about sticking with this one. Yeah, there's no fight. Um, there's a lot of guys on our team that have been you know, down the stretch in playoffs, etc. cetera. Um, years in the league really, really help in games like this. There's no panic at all. We know that we have talent across the floor. Um, if we can put it together, then you know we'll be in a position to be successful. We won't win every single game. Again, we understand that. But if we can put the pieces that we know we have in our room together, then we'll be in a very good position. I think that's it. But it was like there was times we were, we were down at a half, and just knew that it's like we had to have that resilience to come back. Yeah, absolutely. Like um, it's part of the game. There's there's swings, right? There's swings that last two minutes. There's swings that last an entire half. So um, we knew that our time to have a couple bounces go our way were going to happen, and we had to capitalize on that. Absolutely. Um, but to be honest, I think in the start of that second half, we we dictated more than we did in the in the first half, and uh, we were just able to to put the ball in the net. 4-0 was great, but how does 5-0 sound? And the only unbeaten team in the NLL currently right now. Yeah, yeah, I just heard that. Um, feels good, uh, but again, they're, like we're going into a game next weekend that we're very excited about um, against a team that's had our number. They put us out of the playoffs last year, etc. You name it. Um, so there's lots to be had. We're gonna we're gonna feel good about a good win tonight with um, the lineup that we had and some adversity that we faced. Um, but there's still lots of games. Uh, left in the season, we know that.